Titles and paragraphs. Let's talk about editing those. Now, this is honestly really simple. I don't want to go over this and complicate it for you. I want to start moving past the really basic things. I get into the more complex, you know, the complexities of Wix and how you can use it to stand out among other websites, including some, you know, SEO. So let's just talk about it. Like I showed you in previous lessons, you can just click and edit things. So when you're editing your titles and your paragraphs, you're just simply going to click here and then you're going to retype. So now we have the best ice cream. So uh, we can do also the best ice cream. And then you can have in town. So like you see, you just click. Now for paragraphs, all you're going to do is, again, for titles, edit here. I want to go over some of the menus before we hit paragraphs, actually. So you can change colors by, this is highlight. So highlight's actually going to highlight you know, all the words or whatever you want to do. Make sure you have a lighter color generally. So your highlights are going to stand out if you're going to highlight. I recommend not doing that. Just sticking with colors. Basic colors are good. You don't want to have, this is a bit of website design for you. You don't want to have 58 different colors. I would stick to two, maximum three different colors in terms of text on your site. Because you want to, I would say two max. Because you want to keep it kind of looking seamless and nice. And you don't want so many different colors on your site trust me on that it'll look much better it'll look more professional so the thing about wix is just because you can do it doesn't mean you should do it um so basically colors are here underlining is here italics bold just like everything else pretty self-explanatory linking so linking onto other pages so if you had that our flavors page still we change it to our history so we can actually change this to our history and we can actually link this to the page, Our History. So page, Our History. And you may be saying, hey, this is basic, this is obvious. Okay, here's a tip for you that's not so obvious. When you're linking to pages among your site, like you're linking to Our History and you have a page called Our History, you rank higher for search engine optimization. Linking between pages on your site itself will make you rank higher for search engine optimization. So try to implement at least three to five of these inter-page linking strategies. It's really going to help you. In terms of paragraphs, all you need to do again is double click maybe click again and then rewrite the paragraph. Let's look into some, you know, other features that we can do. We can have effects. So we can actually make our paragraphs as you can see this changing a little bit. We can make our paragraphs stand out. This works a little bit better for titles. So if you go up to our history for example, you want this to stand out, go down to effects and then like you can see our history. See how it's standing out now? It has kind of that, uh, you know, that shading and that etching compared to this. So that also works really well for titles that are up here. I have this on my media site. In town. See that? See the in town now compared to this in town? This looks more professional, this one over here. You want to make sure you get the right one. If you get something that's funny looking, it's not so great. But even this, this sort of font contrasting with the pink color of the ice cream. See if you look closely, the in town it looks really good. So you may want to try including one of those on your site. It's really going to help you. But that's paragraphs and titles. It's as simple as that. Um, try to make your top title, you know, stand up more than the other titles. So again, doing that here, see how nice that looks? And then scrolling down, you don't want to do it to every title. Just having the text effects apply to the top titles looks really good. So that's my tip for you. As you see, we're already making improvements on this site. In the future, I may bounce back and forth between my media site and this site. This is the simple stuff. So don't stop, you know, going through this course and thinking, hey, it's going to stay simple. No, we're going to get to the complex stuff, but I want to fill everybody in. We have students from different walks of life. I want everybody to understand, you know, the little intricate details about Wix before we hit the really complex stuff. So I make sure all ground is covered. That's the purpose of a masterclass. So I hope this is helping you. Any questions, as always, let me know in the Q&A section. Thank you.